Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon. It will be the only way you'll be updated when I upload a new video. In today's video, someone asked a question, what is the Oman law? What does the Oman law say? Definitely. But remember, when we are going to talk about the Oman law, there's things that we need to talk about. We need to talk about what degree is under the signing of the Oman law. What are the working hours? We need to look at that. And what are the bonuses? And also, we need to look at what is the overtime. Because those are normally, the, the, those are main, normally the main issues that people think about at the time when you talk about the, the law. In today's video, uh, I really summarize for you and I, I, I want you, I want us to get through what we call the Oman law. Remember, every Gulf country or all Gulf countries have different laws that govern the employers and the employees at one moment of time. Why? Because they want to create what we call the harmony. They want to create the harmony between the employees and the, the employers and that one. And how does it die? How, how is it done? Is that they tend or they put in place the laws and rules that are supposed to be followed for, for all, especially for all the foreigners coming to work in their countries. Remember, working in what you call a foreign countries is a privilege and a responsibility, especially when it comes to the laws governing that country. Hope I'm very right. So in today's video, we want to see, we want to see what is Oman law? What is the Oman law? It may look a little bit very easy as someone may, may hear it sounding, but there's a lot of things that you need to consider. There's a lot of things that you need to know. First, I'll get through what I summarized for you and what I really, what you need to understand. One, the labor law in Oman is known as the Oman labor law, which is OLL. It was issued by His Majesty, that is at a degree number 35 of 2003. It applies to all Oman expatriates, employers and employees and the subsidiary which practice their activities in the Sultanate of Oman. This law applies to all employees, employers, expatriates and even the nationals of the country who are doing subsidiary activities, who are doing any activities, it may be for work, it may be for business, it may be for anything in the Sultanate of Oman. But before we get to talk, uh, uh, as we talk about the law, there are things that we cannot fail to mention. When we talk about things we cannot fail to mention, and one of them is what we call the minimum wage in Oman. What are the working hours under the Oman law? And what is the overtime under Oman law? Because that is very important, especially for foreigners coming in this country of foreigners coming to the Oman to look for survival and greener pastures or bread in one way or the other or even bigger opportunities at one way or the other. One, in Oman, the minimum wage is 325 Oman real. That is per month, which is 225 Oman real, must be paid at salary and the remaining, which is 100 Oman real, must be paid as bonus. For all the employees, for all people working in Oman, the minimum wage should be 325 Oman real. That's per month. So when you get a 325 per month, you subtract 100, which is what you call the bonus, then you have 225. So still under the law, we want to see, we are talking about what is the Oman law. But when we talk about the, what is Oman law, what are the working hours? What are the stipulated, what are the stipulated working hours in Oman? For people who are uh, planning to travel to go and work in Oman, what are the working hours? If you are traveling to go, what is your working time, working hours? Then what is your overtime per working hours? Say, in Oman, the stated, the standard working hours consist of 45 hours per week. That means each day you are working what you call nine hours per day. However, hours, working hours in Oman can reduce during the period of Ramadan to 30 hours per week. And when you divide 30 hours per week, meaning that in Ramadan, people are working for six hours hours a day overtime 
what is overtime under the Oman law. Because we're talking about the law. When you talk about the law, we talk about overtime, we talk about the working hours, then we also talk about the minimum wage. Because they're very question, very important. They should be spitlated out clearly for everyone to understand. Yes, overtime, all workers above the standard weekly hours is paid what you call overtime. And regarded by the employment contracts, the overtime time should be included, that clause should be included in your employment contract. Remember, there are stated working hours per week. So meaning that all employers, their overtime work should be, should be strictly stipulated in their contracts. So overtime and delayed, delayed by the employment contracts. When an employer is requested to work overtime or on holiday, the maximum is set at what you call 12 hours. And that person is entitled to that payment without delay. Remember, in Oman, the employer is supposed to pay the employees in time without any compromise or without any explanation or any excuse at all. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. But remember, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell icon and don't forget to support this channel. It's the only way uh, we can reach to 2,000 subscribers by level. Don't forget to give that a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and comment in this comment section. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. To see you again in the next video as we try to see more of the interesting parts or more of the interesting things in Oman. It's Max from the Max Creation TV. See you again in the next video.